but when I go to a different overlay state you can see that we have a different animation base animation so you can see it's all working and even the run animation base run animation and, and all those things have been replaced technically uh, going to be overlay based so it's going to get a different walk and run animation based on your overlay state uh, we don't have to use six blend spaces instead we just have to use two blend spaces we also skip this linked animation layer which is going to save tons of performance because this thing has its own computation being done and we, tot we totally skip this and that's because like I said thanks to orientation warping this is the default ALS project this is how it is you have one base animation and based on your overlay it's going to um, play additive animation on top of the base animation which is pretty good it's really robust but yeah it's not very very flexible so I simplified it down and I'm going to show you what it's like with the new system so this is the default one I'm just going to place it at the very top over here and replace this with this custom cached node which I made and it, it works the same right almost the same but when I go to a different overlay state you can see that we have a different animation base animation if I go to rifle it's also going to play a different animation so you can see it's all working and even the run animation base run animation and, and all those things have been replaced and the second good thing about this is that um, there's only two animations one is the walking forward and the uh, other one is the walking backward so this walking forward and walking backward these are the two animations we have the side animations and all the other bi-directional animations are um, procedurally animated using a technique called orientation warping which I uh, follow, followed a tutorial um, from from YouTube the main feature is uh, the main work is being done over here first we get the walk and run this is technically uh, going to be overlay based so it's going to get a different walk and run animation based on your overlay state and it's very simple thanks to orientation warping we just have to provide uh, a blend space or an animation for walking slash running forward and walking slash running backward depends on your need you can have just run animation run forward animation or run backward animation or you can have a blend space that's going to blend between walking forward to walking or uh, jogging forward and you can have another blend space like I do for walking backward to jogging backward it really depends on what you want we can replace this with uh, a sequence player if you want to and this is basically uh, this value copied over here and I connected it to this node because uh, we only want the walking forward and the for the walking forward animation or the blend space if we are in velocity rotation mode and we cache this once we, we are done caching it we are going to apply orientation warping on it this is uh, done using control rig over here and we only want to apply uh, orientation warping if we are in aiming mode or looking in direction mode and when we are in velocity we want to use uh, make use of the walk slash run cached pose which we did over here after both of this is done we are going to uh, apply the sprinting uh, state machine and it's it is also going to be based on overlay state so we can have different sprint animation based on our overlay state let's have a look at the pistol we uh, we are going to make use of orientation warping if we are not sprinting but if we are sprinting we are going to play these animations and the reason I have uh, two animations for sprinting is because this animation is going to get played when we start sprinting and our speed is very uh, very low and this animation over here is going to get played when we are sprinting at the max speed and it and we are going to blend in between uh, these two animations so once we are done sprinting we are going to uh, 
run the state machine over here final sprint uh, final post and it's usually automatic it's just to apply the leaning values and transform some uh, bones this is done uh, by ALS and I just copy and pasted the values over here and once we're done with that that we are going to cache this and make use of this in here by default we are going to have uh, this node instead of this node so uh, we just replace this with our custom node so yeah this is how I simplified uh, the the ALS uh, animation system I might simplify it even more in the future but this is what I have as of now so what's uh, good about this is the performance is really going to be good because we don't have to use uh, let, let me see how many blend space this default ALS base uh, we don't have to use six blend spaces instead we just have to use two blend spaces we also skip this linked animation layer which is going to save tons of performance because this thing has its own computation being done and we, tot we totally skip this and that's because like I said thanks to orientation warping and yeah that's that that's basically how my system works and it's very easy to add new uh, base layer animation based on your overlay state just like just like how I showed you with my project I have different walk run sprint animation based on my overlay states so um, that's basically it and if people people really want a tutorial I might do it because it's really simple it's just going to be long because I want to make sure that I explain everything in detail so uh, thank you